Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my Panda palette. I am gonna actually going to repress this. This is right after I filled my last update and as I mentioned in that video, if you saw it, I am going to repress one of the shades, or actually one shade in a bit from this palette um, to kind of make something new. So this is what the palette looks like at the moment. Um, you can see here that I have pretty good progress, but the shade that I'm going to focus on uh, frankly today is Walk of Shame right here. And I'm going to use a little bit of faint and some other shades to just mix it up because I want something a bit different. Because these two are very similar, I want some help trying to use up faint. My kind of end goal is to try to create like a warm toned or like an at least neutral kind of brown transition shade. Because this one is a very cool tone. And in general this palette is very, very cool tone. The only one that has some warmth to it is Foxy. But yeah, it's very kind of cool toned in general, so I want to try to get more of a kind of neutral to warm tone transition shade by mixing some walk of shade with faint and some other shades like I mentioned. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by crushing up walk of shame and as always I use my kind of um, tool right here. This is just like a depotting tool. This is very common to be honest in the makeup world. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to try to like start by crushing up walk of shame. And my initial idea was to crush up and put it straight in here, but I think I might actually take a paper and then dump it all out and mix it up on there because I am mixing these two shades. I think that will be easier. So I'm going to grab paper and then I will start doing that. Okay, so I just have like a regular paper for my notepad. I think these, I feel like these work pretty well to do this with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just scraping out Walk of Shame and then take it from there. I'm going to dump out this eyeshadow um, and get everything out from this pan and then I'm going to start crushing it up very very finely. So that is the empty so like I said I'm going to start by crushing this up to like a fine fine powder. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to take a little bit of faint out. And this is when it becomes tricky because I don't know how much of faint I will need. But I'm just going to start by kind of scraping a little bit out at a time and add it in. Okay, I'm going to start with that and then just mix it up into the Walk of Shame shade. Okay, that's pretty mixed, so I'm going to take a little bit and swatch it out on my hand and see what kind of deepness this shade has now. Honestly, it doesn't seem too deep yet, so I feel like I can add a little bit more of um, faint into this, which is a good thing because I can use a bit more of faint into this mix. So I'm going to add about that much more and I think honestly with that it should be fine. I'm just going to continue mixing this up. Okay so there you have that shade and it's definitely like I think a good tone like deepness now to start with. It's just like a really light shade but it's kind of what I want. I just want a transition shade that isn't too deep that I can use to kind of blend things out with or like as a first kind of transition but it's, it's too cool tone from what I want so I'm going to add in some warmer shades and see how it turns out. And what I have decided to add in is some of my Colourpop The Potter Singles. These are just from the, the kind of uh, small pans that is in the palettes and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of this orange here and a bit of this yellow just to bring in some warm tones. This one I believe is Dynamite from the Mar palette and this one right here is Mischief from 
the Yes Please palette. So I'm gonna take a little bit of those and scrape out and add into this one. So we're gonna start with the orange and yes, it is. Oh, actually, it's from the yeah the Soul palette. I said Soul, didn't I? So this is Dynamite from the Soul palette, and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this one and just scrape on the surface to get some of the pigment off. When I scrape eyeshadows like this, I try not to hit pan on them by scraping because. I kind of feel like hitting pan on things more <laughs> organically is fair. Like, I don't think hitting pan on something like this would kind of count into my pan percentage and everything. So, yeah. There we have that. I think I'm going to start with that much. I don't want that too much. Um, but, yeah, that's a good start. And then I'm going to take this orange, which is uh, Mischief from Yes Please Like I Believed. So, I'm going to scrape a little bit of this one out as well. Used to add a little bit more yellow as well as, like, some more lightness because this is quite a light transition shade already. So I'm going to take a little bit of this one and since I already have pan on it I'm just going to work around where the pan is um, so where the dip is already. So I'm going to take that much and I'm just going to mix it around and see what the color is like at the moment. So I have mixed it up and I'm going to swatch it again just to see what the colour is like now. Um, it's, it's more like a sandy colour now and it's, I, I like it way better now than it did when it was cool tone. I don't know how much you would see this on camera because it is more of a kind of really light transition shade but like I said that's kind of what I want. But I do like it way better now but I think I'm going to do is add a little bit more of the orange. I can kind of see the yellow tones in it now but I want a bit more of that warmness so I'm going to add a little bit more of the orange shade. So we have dynamite again and I'm just going to scrape a bit more out of this one to add a bit more warmth. Okay, so I think that's good. So again, I'm just going to mix that into the eyeshadow. Okay, so that looks good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch it again and see what it looks like and see if I'm happy with the colour now. Yeah, that seems like a really nice kind of light brown transition shade. It's not too warm, but it's definitely warmer than it was before. So I think that's actually perfect now. I was thinking of shading some more faint, but I don't want to do that because I'm worried that this is going to darken up when I put alcohol in it. So I think I'm going to keep it for this because if I want to deepen it up I could always just add a bit more faint when I tap my brush back and forth. So I think I'm going to put this back into pan now and try to repress it into the palette. So I have kind of cleaned out the pan so I'm going to now try to get the powder in the pan which is going to be a bit difficult because it is quite a skinny pan. But what I do is I just take the paper like this and I just flew some of it everywhere. But I'm going to try to like fold it to make a little funnel at the top and then just pour it in very very gently. So that's not all of the products but I'm going to start with that. I have about this much left but I'm going to start pressing this in with some alcohol and then mix more of this in because I'm scared that it will spill over if I add all of it at once. So I'm going to take my alcohol, I just keep it in this like random bottle that I have because the other one I have is so big. So this is just a regular bottle that I bought a drink in and I use a pipette that I am gonna take a few drops in so I just gonna drop that right in here to make this um, start kind of building a paste. So I made it a little bit wet wetter than I normally do but I just because I'm gonna add the rest of the powder in. So I'm gonna fold into like a little funnel again and I'm gonna try to pour it into this area. Oh, I'm scared all of this is going to come down at once, but let's try my best to get it into the pan. Okay, that's almost all, but I want to take a little break because I've, it is overflowing a bit, just so I can get it down um, to mix together with the rest. I think I'm going to add a little bit more alcohol because I don't think the alcohol that I had was going to be enough, and that's also going to probably help this um, get smaller in quantity. <laughs> Okay, so let's mix that up again. Yeah, it's definitely getting into more of a paste now. It's still a bit wet, but I'm going to add the last bit of powder. And if it's too wet, that's not the end of the world. I can just let it dry out a bit before I repress it. 
but this is definitely a messy process but I am trying to get it in here as smoothly as possible. That is all the powder and that's kind of like the spillage on the paper. I like having a paper to mix on as you can see it was easier and it's just easy to pour back in. So now when I have it all in the pan I'm just gonna continue mixing this around and try to get this evenly in the pan which is gonna be difficult and I'm already like I said making a mess but it might be a little bit of wastage but I'm not too fussed about like that because obviously I'm also adding in eyeshadow so it's not like it's gonna like I'm kind of cheating with my panda palette if that makes sense but I'm sorry if you were bothered about the wastage but I'm trying to not waste much of this uh, product so it's obviously a bit wetter than like I said I wanted to but I think it's still gonna be fine I'm gonna take my paper towel and I'm gonna start pressing this down and also try to get what's on the sides in the pan so I'm gonna take this paper towel first and try to wipe around the edges just to kind of wipe that back in the pan um, and not to get it in the other pans obviously although that might be a bit difficult but I'm trying uh, to make this as clean as possible okay so that's cleaner around the edges so I'm gonna take the same paper towel I just fold it over a couple of times so I can press this down on the eyeshadow. And you can see some red seeping through. I'm guessing that's the orange pigment that is in there. But yeah, that's fine as I first repress. And then I'm just going to press it again. I'm going to clean up around the edges again because we have some powder escaping. But I'm just going to take another tissue and then just press it again. Especially on the edges to make it more even just so that it's... Um, sits evenly in the pan but I think that's pretty good um, it's obviously still wet so I can't really see what the final color is going to be like yet but um, yeah I'm gonna just let this dry clean off the palette and I will be right back to show you kind of what the end result will be so I'm back and it's now the next day and this is what my eyeshadow palette looks like uh, this shade obviously that I repressed is this one right here in walk of shame and it turned out a bit lighter than I thought it would, but honestly, I don't think that's going to be a bad thing. I think it's going to be something that's going to be really nice and easy to incorporate. Um, when I walked in to look at this this morning, it's been not quite 24 hours. It's been maybe about like 20, 22 hours, something like that. But I'm assuming now it's dry and I was debating whether to take a bit more faint and add into here. But I think I'm going to leave it for now and play around with it for the next month. And if I feel like it is too light, I will a little bit more faint uh, maybe next month to repress it but overall I'm really happy with the tone of this eyeshadow it looks beautiful honestly and uh, it is that kind of slightly warmer tone that I was missing in this palette so I think it's going to be one that I can easily incorporate but I'm going to go ahead and swatch this shade out and show you what it looks like so there you have the swatch of it I don't know how much it will, it will show up on my hand but I think you can see it right there I can definitely see it in real life but this looks like a really beautiful kind of light transition shade which is exactly what I wanted and I think that this will be a kind of nice way to use the walk of shame. I definitely think I could have used it up uh, on its own but I also have Foxy which is something that I want to focus on and also it gave me a head st start with faint although I didn't use too, too much of that eyeshadow but it definitely will help because the amount that I used from there is probably at least like a month or two of eyeshadow in my eyebrow usage in that shade so that would definitely has helped but um yeah that is the eyeshadow i'm gonna just weigh it quickly to see um how much actual powder i added into this product because i feel like that's gonna be interesting i will let you know as well but let me just weigh it and put on the screen how much it has changed so i just weigh this palette and it's funny because i actually didn't gain any weight um i actually lost 0.01 gram um but i think that might just be my scale being slightly off or it might just be the, I think honestly what happened is that the small amount of loss that I had kind of repressing it, like the powder that I didn't get back in the pan or like the powder that I got stuck on the spatula, things like that. Um, I think that kind of makes up for the amount of product that I added in, which is really good honestly because that means I'm basically starting where I was before. I just kind of mixed the shades um, and honestly I didn't add too much. The only thing I added was the yellow and the orange and then the rest honestly already came from this palette. So that is where I am with this palette now and honestly I'm really happy with this shade and I think it's going to be a good one and it's going to mix up this palette a bit. So yeah with that I'm going to wrap up this video I believe and uh, I will start using it. I'm, I'm like I said filming this on the day after I filmed my last update. It is um, 
the 29th of August, so it is today before my actual update will go up. So this is actually filmed even before my update went up. Um, so I will start using that shade now and you will be able to see my progress on that shade as well as everything else in my next update and I will then also let you know what I think of this shade after trying it out on my eyes but that's it for today I really really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and otherwise I will catch you in my next video bye guys